Yael Shaker is a senior U.S. advocate for Refugees International. She joins me now from Washington. Yael, thank you very much uh, for being here on CNN. Uh, what we're seeing at the border now is one of America's fastest, largest scale expulsions of migrants or refugees in decades. Am I correct there? What we're seeing is um, about 12 to 14,000 migrants have shown have come to the border in near Del Rio, Texas. And um, what the Biden administration is now doing is um, using a policy that's been in place um, for since March of 2020 from the Trump administration, but using an expulsion policy to um, rapidly expel these migrants. Um, the plan is to send several um, expulsion flights directly to Haiti um, without screening these uh, migrants. Yeah, but the Biden administration is saying clearly what is happening there uh, under that bridge is unacceptable. It is not a humanitarian situation. It can't go on. Something needs to be done. And under under COVID laws, under rules within the U.S. right now, uh, there is no legal protection for people coming in and that this is what unfortunately is the pathway for these people. It might be not great. It might not feel good. But at least for the Americans, they're saying this is the situation. Well, unfortunately, well, that is what they're saying. Uh, the problem is, is that so this Title 42 COVID policy has been in place, as I said, for many months, certainly since the beginning of the Biden administration. And for the past 11 months, um, about 30,000 Haitians have tried to have been caught crossing the border without authorization. I should also mention that you cannot seek asylum at ports of entry because ports of entry are also closed, closed. to asylum. Yes, exactly. So the only way to get in is 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 to is to cross between between ports of entry, but what the but most of those uh, of those Haitians who have come for the past eleven months have have not actually been expelled. Um, eighty seven percent of them have been admitted. Most families have been admitted. I visited Del Rio um, just earlier in August, uh, less than a month ago, and many Haitians, both adults and families, were being released at that time in different ways. Uh, uh, most families were being released and not expelled. They were given a notice to appear in immigration court. Some single adults were being sent to detention centers. Um, and so the fact of the matter is, yes, this expulsion policy has been affecting this whole time. These COVID rules, as you said, have been in effect the whole time, yeah. but they have not actually been used in this way the whole time. But for also, again, just to play devil's advocate here, I mean, for the Biden administration, this is... Uh, thousands and thousands of people who have turned up illegally in this situation. They are already overstretched with the Afghan situation. Processing people right now into the, the system within the U.S. is stretched beyond capacity. There are only so many resources, particularly after the Afghanistan uh, situation. This, the Biden administration is arguing, is the only way that they can cope, is to send them back. Right. Well, the, uh, there are a couple of responses to that as well. I mean, the, the Afghans who have been brought into this country are, are on military bases right now all over the United States, um, have nothing to do with ports of entry. They're coming into two airports, in fact, just one airport on the it's East Coast. It's about processing the people. Right. It's it's not it's not it's not occupying the border patrol's time on the on the on the U.S. Mexico border. So that's not really an issue. So and the other thing has to do with Haiti in particular. So Haiti is in the midst of a political crisis. It's a uh, president was assassinated. There was just an earthquake two weeks ago. Haiti has temporary protective status. So um, if you showed up and you were Haitian and you entered the United States before July 29th, you would definitely not be deportable because the Biden administration has deemed Haiti an unsafe country to send people. So I think the issue really seems like suddenly now, in order to send a signal, a deterrent signal or something. Well, I think yeah, that's I mean the point here in many ways is this is also about politics. This is about a president who is not just president to Democrats, but also president to the whole country. And there is not the political appetite, at least politically ahead of the midterms and after a pretty rough few weeks for the White House, for, for these images of people massing under a bridge 
uh, you know, without there being a plan. So, I mean, under your circum, you know, I, I understand where, you, where you're coming from, but I think from the Biden administration, they're like, you know what, this has to be a deterrent because if we let this group of people under the bridge in, what, about, what message does that send to everybody else who's waiting in line? The deterrent message, I think, has not come out clearly from the Biden administration. It seems like sometimes they choose it and sometimes they don't. And it's not really clear that that deterrent message will actually deter anybody from coming. It hasn't worked so far. As I said, this expulsion policy has been in place the entire time. Um, and it's not quite clear to me that that's actually getting through. And what is happening is what the public is seeing is that this is a disparate treatment of Central Americans, on the one hand, who have been not, families have not been expelled, Afghans who are being admitted en masse with without, you know, coming to the United States and black people are being sent back to Haiti. That is the optics of this right now as well. And I, I think it's just something to, to keep in mind. Yael Shekhar, thank you very much. A senior U.S. advocate for Refugees International.